we are going to turn this vinyl from this to this to this. Hello and welcome to another budget and late video. Yes, I have my dad with me today because he does signs and we're going to make a cover for this to protect it. And I thought the easiest way to do it is to cut a big sticker and then we're going to stick it on the metal and then I can cut it out. And we're also here to advertise his new YouTube channel, which he hasn't started yet, but this should hopefully kick his ass into gear to have to make it. Yes, he's right. What I'm going to do is I'll leave all the links down in the description. I can't tell you the channel name yet because he hasn't actually made one. So this video is going to be up in a few months and hopefully by then he will. And it kind of make him do it if that makes sense. And what you're going to see on his channel is loads of stuff. There might be some signs, they might be woodwork, they're going to be... Well, actually, you tell me. Oh, there will be everything. There will be woodwork, bits of plumbing, bits of just everything. Everything that you would want to do, sort of uh, DIY-ish, but uh, maybe just slightly uh, with a few extra tools, really, more than anything else. But, um, but uh, I'm going to be able to try and do it so it's straightforward for anybody to follow. Nothing, uh, nothing too, nothing too clever. Just as well. Just as well. So what we're going to do, and the reason why I've done it this way is because obviously one, he has the stickers and it just makes my life easier because this is essentially a big sticker that's made for signs. So now we've got the shape and we're going to, well, he's going to show you, we're going to peel this off and stick this to our checker plate. And then I'll just come along with my anger grinder and actually cut it off. Rather than trying to draw a line, which we could do now, but with it being a sticker, it's just physically a lot easier to do it. I think so. And only because, like I said, he's got the stickers. Otherwise, I would just be drawing a line. Right. All I'm going to do is simply apply this by hand. Uh, I'm just using the tape just to act as a couple of extra hands. If this was obviously a steel, I could just use some magnets. So effectively, all I'm going to do here, just peel the corner back. And I tend to use a little angle there just to make life easier. We're working off this edge, which is almost straight. So I'm just going to pull that down to this side. I got this for free, by the way. That's why it's all kind of misshapen and cut, but it's going to do what I need. Fine. Then just using a squeegee. Now that's stuck down with the tape, I can actually remove some of these. Keep my hand on that. That allows me to pull this. By pulling that, well, the curve on this paper keeps this from sticking down. So it allows me to bring that in with the squeegee. And then I just keep working my way along, removing the tape. And this is exactly the same way you would actually put stickers on a vehicle. Um, exactly the same way. Yeah, absolutely. And that's where I'm getting my stickers made. Now, I'm not going to be able to show my stickers being made for obvious reasons, but this is who is going to be doing it. Hopefully in this century sometime. Hopefully in this century sometime. Because of the shape of that, that backing paper's tearing, so I'm just going to have to pick it up again, put another angle in it. As long as you don't let that bit stick and keep it up, And now you can see, yeah. I can just cut around this with my angle grinder. So again, I'm just going to bring this forward slightly at a section. Squeeze it off at 45 degree angles, although that's not ultra critical. And just by leaving this paper rolled, it keeps it clear. There's the... Uh, Final sticker 101. Yeah. So as you can see, this is why I'm doing it this way, just because it makes my life easier. I can actually physically follow this line now. 
and the reason why yeah i could have just traced it out but because this is one long sticker it means we could have just put it up against the van like i did do and get our line perfect before i actually start cutting this checker plate no, you never told me anything about perfect just as well just as well Like that. The only thing you made perfect was me. Yeah, well, that's uh, very debatable. So everyone, if you want to blame someone, this is the person you need to blame. Yeah. There you go. So I'll now cut that out with an angle grinder. Right, another reason for doing this is because I want to use this. I got this, it's got a 9 amp hour battery. It's the FlexVolt 54 volt and believe me you cannot stop this angle grinders a few years ago were crap cordless ones because they just weren't very powerful but this thing is an animal <laughs> right what i'm going to do is i've still got a little bit of fettling to do with this and i'm going to get the bend I'm going to get some round bar, something the same length as this and the same kind of diameter, put it in the vise, bend it around that, that's how I'm going to get my bend. But yes, hopefully by the time this video is up, he's going to have a YouTube channel, whether there's any videos on it, whether there ever will be any videos on it is, your guess is as good as mine. But, it gives him a good excuse now to actually start. What I will do is, I'm going to take a picture of his camera, with all the dust on it, just to prove that he actually had it and he never did anything with it. Literally, thick with dust. So, it's up to you. What are you going to do? I'm too busy looking after children. That's the problem. So that's it. The end of the video will be me fitting this bad boy. See, I wasn't lying. Look at that. Look at the dust. Look at the dust. Look at the camera. Look at the lens. Look at the dust. Got a monitor, field monitor, microphone, camera. Manfrotto. Right, as you can see, this is down the next day, so this should all be dry. We've just got it clamped overnight because we actually glued it on with Tech 7, which is strong and it is going to hold, but we just wanted to leave it as long as possible. So I'm going to get my dad to sign out, and that's it. Sorted. Oh, and also, people. You're always asking about my merch. And if you want to know who to blame, <laughs> this person. That'll all come eventually. But as you can see, it's not lifting up, which is good. So I'm going to get my dad to sign out once we just double check this. And then. You obviously okay. mention the merch at the end of your videos. And as you know, I don't watch your videos all the way through, I get bored way before then. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. So, let's see what happens then. Oh, she opens and closes, that's the main thing. And there we go. It is on. Right, you might want to know what this is. This is going to be a life-size scarecrow. Do you think it'll work? No pressure. No pressure. So I've got to go in curves because of the compound of the glass. So that's why I go in like a an arc. So no pressure, this stuff's very expensive and you've got all the experts well, watching you. It's not, it's expensive. Compared to vinyl, it's expensive. And this is not normal vinyl, this is special reflective stuff. Chapter 8 is what we're putting on the van, front and back. Is what you need to be working on the roadside. It's not law yet but a lot of people comply with it and some places won't let you put it 
come into their premises unless you've got chapter 18. And what it is, the this yellow is to be seen during the day and the red reflective that goes on it is to be more visible at night but together they both work day and night but the the yellow technically has more presence during the day and obviously the red in headlights shows up really quite well. You can see where I'm getting quite a lot of gather here now. That's just due to the compound curves. But anyway, I think other than trimming it off with a knife, Right, this red is micro beaded chapter 8. That's what red we're actually using on this particular van. There's different types, but that's what we're using. I just leave a little loop there that stops it from sticking to the vehicle, so it allows me to actually make the application happen. The marks are just past the trouble this yellow it keeps attracting all the little flies. Sure they're just not attracted to you. Aren't try flies attracted to shit? Mm. Let's see. These are just my guides, they're not set anywhere, they're just guides. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to do the hard part, the bonnet. I'll see if I'll film it because there's going to be a lot of swearing and throwing things. It might be interesting. We'll see. Right, what we've done is we've made a quick template for where the grill goes because when there's a big hole, it's it, the, the vinyl, um, it's very difficult to actually get it on. So this template is going to allow it to be nice and smooth and easier to get the vinyl on because it's very thick. You can't move it and manipulate it like normal stuff. Careful. Right, this is the less of two evils. Obviously, we're going to kind of struggle getting this out. We can't cut this tight because you'll see the green, but it's just made it a lot easier putting this on. But we're now dealing with the wrinkles and the kinkles at the bottom. But that's definitely made our life easier. Right, we have it on, and yes, we do have a join at the bottom, and yes, it's not level, and it looks a bit crap, but I'm going to show you why in a minute, or well, be a minute for you. I don't know if I'm going to put it in this video or another video, but this is not going to make any difference. The only reason I'm doing it is for the next couple of weeks, it's going to look stupid me driving around with a bit of green underneath here, so we just did this just to make it look a lot nicer. I've got a lot planned for the front of this van that's why we don't need that and we really really struggled we wouldn't have been able to do it in one piece with normal vinyl that's designed to be stretched yes no problem at all but this vinyl is really thick it's just it's a nightmare to work with so you'll see either at the end of this video or in another video why this doesn't matter at all you will not see any of that right now it's done boom as you can see it looks nice it's the right stuff and also um i'm going to show in another video why it's not important that uh that line is there and it's just going to make it a lot better for me driving around for the next couple of weeks until i do the next stage of it and i'll show that in another video exactly what i'm doing but try and put a comment down below uh to see if you can guess what i'm going to do with it so i got my dad to sign out and that's it well, that's it. We're all done.
the beast can leave the driveway. My uh, sign out? Your sign out or my sign out? My sign out. Uh, well, I don't know. Which is that then? <laughs> he really doesn't watch my videos. I have no idea. <laughs> he doesn't know oh, why. I is know. It? Sorted. No, it's, oh, okay. don't forget, get your hands oh, dirty. Yeah, yeah. See you for the next okay. one. Bye. Thanks.